Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to update Windows 10 using PowerShell. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to Start, and then type in PowerShell. Now select Run as Administrator. If you don't see Run as Administrator, right-click on Windows PowerShell, and select Run as Administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Now you're going to type set set dash execution e x e c u t i o n policy p o l i c y space remote r e m o t e signed s i g n e d and press enter. Execution policy change. The execution policy helps protect you from scripts that you do not trust. Changing the execution policy might expose you to the security risks described in the About Execution Policies help topic at https colon backslash go.microsoft.com backslash fwlink backslash question link id equals 135170. Do you want to change the execution policy? So you're going to type capital A for yes to all and press enter. Now you're going to type install capital I N S T A L L dash module M O D U L E space P S capital P capital S Windows capital W I N D O W S update capital U P D A T E and press enter. It may take a few minutes to load. Type capital Y for yes and press enter. Untrusted repository. You are installing the modules from an untrusted repository. If you trust this repository, change its installation policy value by running the set PSR repository CMLET. Are you sure you want to install the module from PS Gallery? Type capital Y for yes and press enter. Now you're going to type import capital I M P O R T dash module capital M O D U L E space capital P capital S Windows capital W I N D O W S update capital U P D A T E and press enter. Now you're going to type get capital G E T dash Windows capital W I N D O W S update capital U P D A T E and press enter. Now you're going to type install capital I N S T A L L dash Windows capital W I N D O W S update capital U P D A T E and press enter. Now type capital A for yes to all and press enter and wait for it to update. All right, now your computer should be updated. Now you can close PowerShell, so you're gonna type exit, E-X-I-T, and press enter. All right, so that's how you update a Windows 10 computer using PowerShell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.